Hello and welcome back to Small Bites. Thank you so much for coming, for getting the knowledge, for getting the strategies, the resources, for sharing those resources. I can't believe it's already episode eight. So I'd like to let you know that in two weeks, I will be going live once again to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Small Bites. The 10th episode, I guess. At any rate, I hope you'll join me. Share that with your friends. So, last week's episode, I posted some footage that was, gosh, so brutal that I put a warning on it. A man in LA being ripped out of his wheelchair and his wheelchair being destroyed while he was protesting in Los Angeles. And then the infamous Bloody Sunday where a young John Lewis had his skull cracked on Edmund Pettus Bridge in March of 65. They are so hard to watch. They are heart-wrenching visions of what America is at its ugliest. The UN has issued a statement against militarized force being used against protesters, as has Amnesty International. Let me read to you a short passage from a young rabbinical student. People started putting their hands up, but the cops wouldn't let up. We were drooling and coughing uncontrollably. The police started coming up the hill. They were hitting and tackling people. They were dragging people down the hill and forcing them down on their knees, lining them up on the median on the highway with their hands in zip ties and pulling down their masks and spraying and gassing them again. In Portland, you've seen a wall of moms, a wall of vets, a wall of dads, regular people coming to stand together for human rights. My question is for us this week, what are we going to do? Yes, school is reopening. If you are a mother or a teacher, your focus is there, I get it. But I'm a mother and I'm a teacher. And I don't have the option, I don't have the luxury of dropping this topic for school reopening. I have to deal with both. The fight for equity goes on and it's going to be a red line through everything that we face for the next months. So I am asking you, if you see something, say something. Maybe that means you're gonna to go to a protest. Maybe that means you're gonna use that template and write your elected officials. Maybe that means you're gonna quietly say to another teacher, that's inappropriate. I'm not sure what it is that you have in your heart to do, but I do know that if you're watching Small Bites tonight, that there's something on your heart to do. If you have 20 to 30 minutes, watch the next 30 minutes of Black America Since MLK and Still I Rise. Last week, you should have watched the first 30 minutes. So if you didn't, get caught up. If you have 15 to 20 minutes, I would like you to research the qualified immunity laws for police in your city. Qualified immunity. Uh, if you have 10 to 15 minutes, Review Khan Academy's lesson on Richard Nixon employing the Southern strategy in 1968 and explore all the hyperlinked resources. If you have five to 10 minutes, review the five Ds of bystander intervention, distract, delegate, document, delay, and direct. All of the links are at hedrick.com, so don't worry about writing anything down, just Click below. Alrighty, if you have zero to five minutes, this is another zero minute strategy. Drum roll please. Drop the words late to the party from your vocabulary. Late to the party doesn't exist. And if someone is just figuring out that equity doesn't exist for many people, that the system is stacked against people who look like me, if they've just figured that out, then that's, that's where they are. They're allowed to be late to the party. So thank you again for joining Small Bites this week. Don't forget, in two weeks, I am going live right here on YouTube. And 
I would like to invite you to invite some friends. Meanwhile, click on the link in the description. You'll find all the links on hedrick.com. Subscribe, like, comment, let me know your feedback. Thank you, and how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Bye-bye.